Hi, my name is Pat Noel and I'm an IBM Maximal Support Engineer. This is a short video on how to exclude user-defined attributes when duplicating records in Maximal. Please note that this is only for user-defined attributes, not for default attributes. Default attributes will still always be copied when duplicating a record. So let's see how this works. I have already set up two attributes in the work order tracking application. So let's go to database configuration and pull up the work order object and under the work order object let's go to the attributes tab and filter just want to show you them briefly one called condition and one called uh, quick update so if we filter for them there's two here and to show that they're both user defined if we expand them and look down below, you'll see the user defined option is checked both for quick update and for a condition. So the way this is set up is in here, there is an option under more actions called exclude attribute data. If we open that up, you will see that the quick update is set to be excluded, but not the condition attribute. So let's see this working on a record. So we'll go to work orders, work order tracking, and we'll pull up an existing record to copy it. 2008 in this example. And I've added both those user-defined attributes to the record. Here they are. Quick update has uh, some information in it and so does condition. So if we go down to more actions and there's an option here to duplicate work order. Let's do that. And you'll see that only the condition gets copied across. The quick update because we excluded, we put it in the exclusion does not get copied across. There's also, you can put a condition in the exclusion. So let's have a look at that. So if we go back to, let's just not bother saving that for now. If we go to system configuration, platform configuration, database configuration once again, and pull up the work order object. And once again, we'll go down to exclude attribute data. And in here, you can put a condition. And I have one set up earlier. And let's just filter for it. Here it is, work order priority. Uh, what I've done is check to see if the work order priority is one. So now the condition is added. And we'll say OK. So now if we go back to our work order tracking application and take a look at the work orders again. Let's pull up the same one again, 2008. And the condition specified that the priority is one. And in this case, the priority is one. So once again, now if we go to more actions, and we duplicate the work order. Once again, the condition gets copied across, but the quick update, because it meets the condition, does not get, gets excluded and does not get copied across. However, if we go back to the list of work orders, let's go back and to the list, and I won't bother saving this. And if we pull up a record, a uh, different record. Let's just pull up this one as an example. It also has values in the quick update and condition attributes. But in this case, the priority is seven, so it does not match the condition that we put in the exclusion. So in this case, when we do more actions and duplicate work order, what happens? is that 
both get copied still because the exclusion uh, prevents the quick update from being excluded. So thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.